Hey guys, Steven here, Fanatic Perspective. Going to 5,000 subscribers by September 7th, Texas LSU. Let's get it. Horns always up. Exciting news today. By the way, make sure you guys go and follow Texas Platinum social media, their YouTube channel. I'll have their, they got featured on uh, Bleacher Report with their Colin Johnson video. So those guys blowing up some UT students I'm very, very proud of. Uh, but today, some big news. Tom Herman receiving a two-year contract extension. Uh, now his contract will be through 2023. Um, a little bit of uh, some uh, pay bump in there at the at the back end of the contract, but not necessarily a raise here on. But again, a, a show of faith from the school, the school president and everybody um, to extend Coach Herman. And couldn't be more excited as a Texas fan. You know, we've come, I, 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 this is how I think, we've come a long way in a short period of time. Um, I myself was frustrated with the start of the Tom Herman tenure, obviously the Maryland game and, you know, having some of the just inconsistencies with finishing certain games and, and certain things. But he has grown and evolved as a coach with this program because he has the mindset of a CEO. He has the greater vision for where we want to go competing with the big dogs and being the program that we should be considering the resources and, and just where we are as the University of Texas. So, you know, again, now from a recruiting standpoint, this is big. Committing to the head coach, knowing that, hey, there's not going to be whispers here um, from our program of the coach going to the NFL, the coach going to, you know, another big school, whatnot. Just having that stability here, the coaching staff. One of the things we've talked about so much this year was finding the stability in the quarterback position that we hadn't had in a long time. We're finding that stability with the with the head, starting with the head coach. And he should be rewarded because if you think about the stability with the staff and the success we've had from a recruiting standpoint, increasing the talent level in this program, Hopefully, we'll start to see that with more first-round picks um, as time goes on and as Coach Herman continues to build this program. I mean, it's still very, very young. We're going to year three. He's a young, you know, uh, coach himself, uh, and he's. I think as players develop, as as we all develop in whatever we do, whatever our trade is. You know, I myself am in sales. I, I'm in. You know, I've been in sales over ten years. I'm a better sales guy today than I was in year three. And so I expect to see the same thing from Coach Herman. And I think all of us as fans should be very, very excited about that that, prog that progression. And, you know, just him growing up here in Austin. It's, gonna, it's been a lot of fun to watch to get back to the 10-win plateau, to get back to those, those New Year's Six Bowl games. And now let's push through the playoffs and win the Big 12. And... It's, it's not just a one-year push. This is something where we're trying to build a factory here, guys. We're trying to, you know, the goal is to get to where Clemson and Dabo Sweeney's at. You see Dabo getting the $93 million contract. Like, that's, you know, what I hopefully envision one day for this Texas program. And I think it's very, very uh, achievable at some point if we continue on, on, a, on, a, on a straight road of, Consistency. That's one thing I noticed when Clemson was going through building their run, Alabama going through building their run. Even though they've had even more, some uh, Alabama in their case did have some turnovers with the coaches. The philosophy from the from the top down was always the same, and we're seeing that with Tom Herman, and he deserves the extension. Couldn't be excited. Couldn't be more excited about it, guys. Just please chime in. I mean, this is um, you know, and let me know what you feel are you know what's good for texas if anybody disagrees i don't think anybody that's a texas fan should really be disagreeing about this right now um i mean i'm sure there's going to be people out there that say oh this might be a bit premature steve hey uh the results are in the pudding even even you know two bowl wins what he's been able to do in all of the big games we've played in you know how getting his team up for big games getting the quarterback position up to snuff uh, he's shown me everything I needed to see thus far. And again, like I said at the beginning of this video, I expect him to be to get even better as a head coach. I expect him to get even better as a recruiter as he's as he has more time here in Texas because things aren't perfect. We're still getting our ass whooped in DFW. You, you guys send me emails about that all the damn time. It's it's a it's a fact. So there are you know he's not perfect, but this is a step in the right direction. 
as he evolves, you know, into one of the elite coaches if he's not there already in the country. So excited, guys. Very, very excited. Hook them. Y'all let me know in the comments how you feel about this. Make sure you're following us on all social media accounts. But I'll throw it up again. Horns always up. Peace.